Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Lori's DIY Life. Um, man, it's Wednesday, and Sheena Douglas is on Crafter's Companion again, and I watch that woman, and oh my gosh, it's just amazing the stuff today she's doing, like water painting with the ink pads, and I'm telling you, if you don't watch Crafter's Companion um, TV, um, you can just go to YouTube and, you know, type in Crafter's Companion and you can use other stuff. You don't have to buy their stuff. Don't feel like you have to. Um, but the techniques that you can learn. And, I mean, just watching Sheena Douglas, she does... Oh, my gosh, just beautiful stuff. And, and I'm just... I'm just fascinated. But anyways, for this video, I thought we would do some of these gilding techniques from this craft club kit month number two, which I just got like last week. And we all know how I love gilding, right? I love gilding. And I'm uh, not sure... what I did with the tubs. I think I thought I had them here with it, but I didn't. And so I have gilding flakes. I I have gilding flakes. Um, there's one smaller. I don't remember. Oh, here's one. Here they are. Okay, so maybe I'll just use the ones from the kit. That way, if you have the kit. And if something turns out well and you want to do it, it'll be the same because I've got the right colors here. So, I'm going to look through here. And just look, I haven't really spent a lot of time looking to get the most to make sure that you save any excess leftover from your projects so you don't run out. Okay. Number one, gilding a die cut sentiment. So let me find the... die cut designs and let's grab the thanks oh that doesn't want to come out too easy I would think they would just Kind of fall out. It's got these little tabs and I'm afraid of ripping them. So they're a little bit delicate. I know why they left them on because they are delicate so you don't want to have them squashed so I get that back. <sighs> okay. So there's my word and let's see what they say to do. Okay. Take a die cut sentiment and using the glue pen in your kit draw over the design. Okay, so I'm going to draw over the design and then wait until it's tacky and apply the gilding flakes. So we'll do the gold 
and then apply some pressure to adhere them to the glued areas. And then take the sponge, so that comes out of the tool kit. Take your sponge and carefully rub the gilding flakes using small circular motions. Gild your glued areas and rub away any excess to reveal your gilded design. Use your piece on a project. Okay. So they're using the glue pen for this. I don't know if we need to. Oh, it's sealed. <laughs> I know at one point people were saying they couldn't get theirs to work. Um, I never had trouble getting mine to work. Maybe that's when they put this covering over it. It's really dry. Let me see. There we go. Make sure the glue is coming out. You can tell because it's shiny. I'm just drawing over the letters. Okay, so when I went at an angle, the glue didn't come out, so I had to go straight up. So, if that helps anybody. I don't know if that matters, but it seemed like when I went in at an angle, the glue quit coming. It seems like you're going to have to have some area with no glue because you got to hold on to it someplace, right? I think. I got to scribble out. sure I'm doing this in the camera. Okay. All right, now we want it to get tacky. That's a little tacky, but that one, maybe it is. I don't, I seem to have misplaced my tweezers someplace. Okay, be careful when you open, because look, there's no thing over the top. And this is big, the big pieces of gold. So this would be pretty easy. Just, I like the smaller pieces. So normally, I would just kind of break it up. But, Okay, then we'll take our sponge and gently rub it. And where there is none, we kind of want to get some. 
right? So right there is an empty spot. I want to kind of get some of that gold there. The getting flakes seem to, maybe I got too much glue on my glass mat. Yeah, you have to be really gentle because of how fine these sentiments are. No gilding flake right there, so let me put one on there. Seems to be too quiet in our living room. It seems that since the bird got sick, the bird and the dog's a team now. <laughs> I don't know. I know when I first brought the bird back from the vet, the dog laid under the carrier that I had the bird in. And I thought, well, they're not even buddies or nothing, you know. Like, they just avoid each other. It can't be that that dog is worried about that bird. But I don't know. It seems like ever since then, they're like this team. And I can't trust them <laughs> together. Really, they're both good. They really don't, neither one of them, cause me any trouble. See, I don't know if some of these pieces are like this because I missed it with the glue. Some of these spots are not gilding. Hmm. So what I might do... See, that didn't work so great for me. There's a lot of spots that just are not gilded. So what I might do, try to get this as cleaned up as I can. And just come back with some more glue. Wow, look, that looks horrible. And for the work that it's going to be, it didn't rub off good because it was the big sheets, I think.
Yeah. This is really something I'm going to do all the time. Ugh. Look at that. It's just not... So... Maybe it works better for other people, but not so well for me, I'm thinking. Let me... Try to fix it, though. I gotta get the glue coming out of here. Okay. So I'm just gonna hit the spots that aren't gilded. But see, that could be the spots where I touched it, right? And it took the glue off. It's hard for me to see in this light. Where it needs it. Hopefully that helps. It's stuck there because of the glue, I think. And that being gilded, I don't think it needs to be smooth. I don't think gilding is necessarily always smooth. Stick is by right there. Still feel there we go. Okay, let's try it now. Still didn't get that. That spot still did not gild. It doesn't feel sticky. Give that a couple of seconds.
I'm trying to pick it up so I can see. Oh, there's still some spots. I guess I didn't go back over enough. Because it's hard for me to see because I'm not right over it or anything when I'm filming. Because if I did, you wouldn't be able to see it. But I'll have to come back and finish this. Um, but I think we spent enough of this video on this anyways. Okay, let's get these cleaned up and back in the pot. And I guess this will be my gold sponge. Even these little pieces keep them. Like I said, I like to use the little pieces, especially when you use more than one color on something. It really, it really does. I've got two sponges that I originally got when I got all those colors of Gilding Flakes from Crutcher's Companion. And they've got so many colors mixed in there that when I use them by themselves on something, it's just like this, this bunch of colors. <laughs> it's pretty and I love it. Okay, the next one is Gilding a Die Cut Shape and they did a heart. So let's see if there's a heart in here. Uh, get the sentiments out. I see a heart. Okay, so they're t saying to take the dry ink pad. Now, I didn't have good luck with my ink pad and ink that they sent with the original kit. So, we'll see if they've improved this ink or something. Um, ink glue bottle from your kit. Then apply the glue to the sponge of the dry ink pad. Add just a few drops to start off. You can always add more if needed. Take the die cut shape and using the dry ink pad and glue from your kit. Apply adhesive to the shape. Wait until glue is tacky, then apply your gilding flakes over the top, applying some pressure to adhere them. Take your sponge and carefully rub in the gilding flakes using small circular motions. This will gild your glued areas and rub away any excess flake to reveal your gilded design. Use your piece on a project of your choice. So here they're using silver. Here they're using gold. Let's just... Let's just have a look at the silver first. Oh, this might be all three colors right here. Now this one does have the protected sheet on it. So I don't know how yours are going to come. Could just depend, and this is big flakes too. Okay, you got to kind of break that seal. And just a few drops, it says. Well, that's quite a few drops. Okay, so. Let that sink in, I guess. Come on, get in there. I don't want to put my finger in it because then my it's a tacky glue. I want to get it. 
See, when you do that, you don't end up with it everywhere. Okay. Let's put some silver on. I think there's videos you can watch, too, from Crafter's Companion. I don't have... I haven't watched them. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't watched them. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Or uh, if I had watched. I want some by the outside. Too. I want some silver. By the edge. Yeah. And then I'll put some gold down. Well, this time there is a protective. It must have been stuck up here. Okay. I do have a plan, believe it or not. Maybe it's not quite doing what they say to do, but I do have a plan. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to rub it in. And hopefully where it's sticky, catches the other, the loose. That's what you hope for anyways. It doesn't mean that's what happens. Okay. So that works better than that glue pen so far. I don't feel any sticky spots and the stuff that's there is sticking. Okay. Now normally if you're gonna do different colors, you just put the different colors on and you rub it. I figured since that glue wasn't going everywhere it wasn't spreading, spreading, that I would do this one last. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more glue on here. Just kind of here. No, what I found with my other one too is this gets hard. This ink pad gets hard. After sitting, it gets hard. Feels like it needs a little more glue on there. And it's getting tacky already where I put glue. Okay. I got flakes stuck on there too, so that's probably not a wise thing to do. I know it's not the right thing to do, but I was hoping. Okay. So they do all have that protective seal on there. Okay, let's see. I need some more. I might go ahead and get some more of that gold. That's quite a bit of copper on there. can see the silver okay make 
making a mess. They say round. Like that should still be sticky. I don't know. It's got a good texture. Feels good. Feels kind of smooth, velvety, sort of. Get that shape back. So, there we go. That was better. I would tell you, with this, if you rip too much, it's going to come off. I can feel that. In some spots, that glue will rub off. Okay, let's move on, but that, I like that. I didn't put the cover back on the silver. Shame on me. I'll have to do that if I open it back up. Okay, next we go to Gilding on Stamped Element. I'm going to need paper. I am, I am. So this is going to be probably use the glue pan, glue, glue one, the glue ink pad. Let's see. Yeah, use the glue. Carefully dab the ink pad over the stamp until fully covered. Using the platform and base, stamp your glue image down. Once the whole thing is stamped, wait for a couple of minutes for the glue to become tacky. And apply your flakes. Let's find the stamps. Where are the stamps? Stencils. Clear stamps. I'm not going to bring my whole base and everything out. I'm just going to do the little butterfly. Or you are so kind. Which one? Or the big? No. We'll just stick with the little butterfly. Okay. And we want to make sure there's ink on here. And mine is already bad from the, uh-oh, that, this glue is coming out way quick. It's a very watery. There should be something to smooth it with. Let me get... Just a piece of paper so I can smooth that glue out. Okay. Now I'm just going to ink it with the glue. Let's see how that works. See, I really couldn't get this before it had to work so I'm hoping that that was just my inexperience so let's stamp it but we don't want to push down too hard I'm assuming that 
we don't want to push down too hard. And it looks like we missed some of it, but we'll find out. I'm going to just make sure I got all the glue off of there. Okay. No more sticky on there. Okay. What color did they use? They used gold, but let's... Let's use what's out here. And I'm thinking that this is probably already dry enough. This has gotten really kind of See, this was why I wasn't that crazy about it in the first place. It just doesn't seem to, that glue pad is just so iffy. I can feel a lot of spots. Where there's glue, but it's not holding it. Just in case that's the problem, let's use this. Maybe it doesn't want to hold those things. See, here's where I think I missed. But the rest of it was on there. Alright, let's see. Well, that's better. I guess maybe a little bit. But you'll see what I mean. Now, I need to work on that, and, and hopefully that's a process that I can get to eventually, because I do like the look of that. Okay, adding highlights. Let's see. Stamp out your chosen design using alcohol proof and your markers. Color it. Add glue where you want highlights, wait until it's tacky, and put it down. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not going to do all that coloring and stuff right now. Gilding on a freehand drawing. They use black paper. Do I have black paper? I don't think. That's black, but that's a... Um, I have a piece of black, but it's... Um, oh, what is that called? Um, oh my goodness. It is a, um, not opalescent, but it's paper. The shiny stuff, I can't believe I can't think of the word. Okay, so we're just going to draw something. They got a tree. We'll do a tree. Obviously, my tree is not going to be good as their tree. And 
and they say wait I say don't wait because I think that's the problem I think the waiting is the problem and it looks like they used gold and silver I think with this pen especially, it's such a thin line. And I think if you wait, it just gets too dry. Even though it's supposed to be tacky and not supposed to dry, I think it does. Okay, see, that turned out better, right? Now, I'm just leaving my scraps on the thing and using it. But you can actually get a little bucket to put your mixed colors in. But there we go. That did turn out. So what that tells me is <laughs> if I want to do... Let's see. You got to make sure your ink's flowing. That glue... And now I can't remember. Uh -oh. <laughs> so right now all I'm doing is taking this stuff and see how those colors just the dust and stuff comes out of the sponge and those colors just do but see the flow on that pen, look where it skipped. Right there. I mean, you can come through. And fix it. Depends on what your drawing is. Sometimes coming through and fixing it, it looks too broken, right? See the O, the dot on my eye. Now that time I did go too fast. I will say that was my fault. That was still wet. Okay. So that's not bad. Nope. That needs to be rubbed a little better, don't it? Sometimes when you do this too, it shines it up that more, it seems to me. Could be wrong, but <laughs> that's what it seems like to me. I like that one so far. The best. Now it says to take the paper, the marbled paper, and they gave us plenty of the marbled paper. Okay, using our glue pen again. Draw over the marble effect lines, wait until your glue is tacky, and then apply your yielding flakes. I wouldn't do the whole thing. I would do one line. Get your gilding flakes. Because this glue seems to me like it just dries quicker than it's supposed to. Don't 
Just as long as you do that, it's down and it's good, right? We don't have to rub it. We can rub it all together. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one. This is pretty simple. And with this one, if the glue pin has breaks in it or whatever, it might not matter. See, I would just do one line at a time because I think if you don't, it's going to dry. And we can try that. Hold on. Okay, so you know the rest of this has glue. Let's go on. Let's go on and do this other one. Okay. Okay. Let's just see what happens if we try to do them all. Now this was first, then this, then this, and we're gonna work this way. And we'll see what happens if they all stay sticky. And then this one, I can't see for sure that the glue's on there. There it is. It would be nice if I'm wrong uh, and you could do one sheet. Instead of having to stop, put on gilding flakes, stop, put on gilding flakes. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Okay. Okay. So this was where we stopped, right? Let's see what happens. Oh, good. It's still holding it. And then that was next. And then this one. Good. So I was wrong, thank goodness. So now you can do the whole page. Without worrying about it. Nice. What I would do too. There are some other lines on here. Simple lines. Like hidden marble kind of. Not the bright guild me, guild me ones. That you could come in with some of the other colors. Like the burnish or the silver or whatever. And I wouldn't have any problems doing that now that being said I'm going to show you maybe it's just the pen the way the pen was working this this one came out real good but this one does have some spots that didn't hold so is it that the pen didn't release the glue or is it that that spot dried too much. I don't feel nothing there. This one that I did before, when I didn't wait, is a solid line of gilding. This one has a couple of spots. I'm trying to see if they all do. This one looks pretty good. This one, maybe it's just the pen then. Didn't didn't release glue in those spots.
Okay, that worked good. Next. Gilding on double-sided tape. I have done this a million times. Let's get some... <coughs> How long is this? Oh, this video is getting long. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do this because this video is getting too long. This is acetate, and this is what I want to do. Gilding on acetate with a double-sided adhesive sheet. Take a sheet of acetate from the kit and remove the protected film. Take a double-sided adhesive sheet from the kit and remove the backing sheet. Adhere this sheet to the acetate. Okay. So that makes sense now. Double-sided adhesive sheets and acetate. Okay, we're going to do this. This, this, this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> okay, here's the acetate. And I'm going to remove the protective film. Now, uh-oh, look, I already got it stuck. Now I'm going to get the double-sided adhesive. I think this is going to be cool, I think. I think, I think. Okay. I probably should have cleaned up the mess, but I didn't. Come on, double-sided adhesive. Let me get you off before this video gets too long. Time was going fast for me, too. Oh, well. Oh, I missed. I wonder how easy that'll pull off. Shoot. It instead wanted to lay down, but I missed it right here. That's all right. I'm going to work that bubble out. I don't want those bubbles in there. Those bubbles. I wonder how those are gonna look. Can't get them out. Well, let's give this a chance. Let's pull this up and see what happens with the bubbles. Oh, that's cloudy looking. Okay, we can definitely see where the adhesive is. And then, I guess we just put the flakes on. Okay. Remove the top layer and apply gilding flakes to your design. In your design. Let's just do it. Let's just get some gilding flake. Now, whoa, that was more than I meant to grab. See, that's what happens when there are all those big flakes like that. You know, I just love the copper for some reason. I always have kind of liked copper, so. Sometimes I'm a little selfish and I don't use it as much as I should. And then sometimes 
because I like it and I want to save it. But then sometimes I'm like, oh, copper, it needs copper, more copper. Oh, I need to put these on there, don't I? All my other pieces, loose pieces, because this is really sticky. This double-sided adhesive is going to hold those pieces for sure. And we don't want to waste them. And since this is going to be the last thing I do... Might as well get them on. Okay, let me get some copper in here. See, I wish they broke it up better. It is more like gilding sheets. <laughs> Instead of gilding flakes. And some people probably love that. But. I like the flakes. I like the way the flakes look. I like the little pieces. Especially when you do like this. Where you're mixing different colors and stuff in. The little pieces look really good. This is where I might just come in, just in a little spot. Let me get all these up and put on so we're not wasting anything, though. I might grab those other sponges and show you what I mean by color just burst out from them. Because of all that stuff that's been, you know, over time, just the different colors and stuff. But they're almost becoming unusable for anything where I want, like if I just want it to be a gold, gilded thing. Let me find my sponges. See it? Watch. Can you see where that little dust is on there and it just sparkles and it just sparkles the little dust pieces. Let me get the other. Oh, the other one's not in here. I only have two. There it is. This one has more colors. Can you see that purple and pink and blue and stuff in there? It just sparkles. I mean... It's, it is amazing. I like the dust. We need somebody to come out with gilding dust. Now somebody's going to come out with gilding dust, right? <laughs> but it just does. I mean, it just sparkles. Look. Look at that. It's so pretty. And it's, it's like not flaky. It's just like the sheen on there. It's beautiful. Let me use it on the whole sheet. Now just, so wherever it'll stick and maybe it'll be part of the thing. You know, that's got to be rubbed. Some of this has to be really rubbed. I'm worried what those bubbles are going to look like on the other side. 
It's looking very kind of dull. Okay, that's just the glue, but look at the other side. Okay, let me get rid of this. This is... You're looking at purple from the... I like it. It's pretty. I am impressed. Look at where that... That... <laughs> This is where that dust stuff was that came off of my sponge. Yeah, and then we could use it as a panel or whatever. Nice, very good. All right, everybody. We have been through all of them. You've seen me. Well, no, there's one more. Gilding a stencil design, so... We'll have to do that another time. Maybe we'll do the double-sided tape and the stenciling in one video, too. So, okay, if you like my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.